Hey guys. So it's been, what, nine days since I've done a video and I'm sure that some of you have been wondering where I've been. So I thought I would tell you where I've been while I get ready. So I just applied Beauty Treats Lip Care in Jojoba and I get this from shopmissa.com. It comes in other flavors as well. And um, so what would be next? Primer? Yeah. I haven't used this in a while actually and I used to really really love it. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've definitely hit pan on that. And let's see, what brand? I don't even remember. It's been so long since I've grabbed for this. I don't even remember what brush I used to use. Let's see. I couldn't even remember what brush I used to use, so um, instead I'm going to use the MAC 130 brush. Um, this is just like a small stippling brush. So yeah, uh, let's get into where I have been. I don't know how it happened, but I threw my back out. I have some theories about how that happened and I think it may have even been like a cumulative effect because uh, my husband and I went to see over the long 4th of July weekend we went to see Spider-Man Far From Home and which was excellent by the way really really good much better than I even thought it was gonna be and I, I love Marvel movies um, and I love Tom Holland now too he's so adorable but anyways um, as soon as I sat down in the chair at the movie theater, I remember thinking, oh, this is really uncomfortable, which is not good when you're about to sit in an uncomfortable chair for two hours. So I think that may have had something to do with it, because I have to be very careful, like, where I sit, and um, I have to have, like, good lumbar support, because um, for those of you that haven't been with me for a long time. I had a bulging disc in my back a few years back and um, it had been good for a while there recently but yeah I think I must have done a bunch of things that aggravated the hell out of it and when I say aggravate that's putting it mildly because the pain was so bad that I was getting spasms in my back that were so bad that I couldn't even breathe. It was like holding onto the wall like <gasps> that type of level of pain. So another thing that I did that I think caused this to happen is when we went grocery shopping last weekend, we were bringing the groceries in and I grabbed a bunch of bags at the same time. Now I can't do that. I can't lift heavy things um, because I was all right while I was carrying them, but then when I set them all down on the kitchen floor, it's when I have something heavy and then I lean forward, that's what sets off my back. And, um, so that was a contributing factor, I think. And also I trimmed my hair and I decided that I was going to do it the way I used to do it many, many years ago, which now I know I cannot do that anymore, uh, which is leaning way forward, combing all my hair down, and then like just trimming the edge of what falls at the bottom. I mean, I like the, the end result and the way it looks when, you know, I flip my head back and comb it out, but... I can't do that. I can't lean forward like that and put it puts all the pressure on that disc in my spine. So I think it was like a bunch of things, but I was in bad, bad shape. And thank God I didn't have this happen until Sunday is when I was getting the really bad spasms and I couldn't couldn't do anything. So when this happens to my back, um, let's move on. Yeah, I got I got to talk and do this at the same time. Uh, Elf Flawless Foundation in the shade Natural. Um, 
so thank goodness this didn't happen till Sunday because my husband had taken a vacation day on Friday. So he had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off from work. And um, so Thursday is when we went to see Spider-Man. Friday, we went to the Cape, uh, Cape Cod. I, I forget that, you know, people do watch my videos other than locally. Um, we went to Cape Cod on Friday and um, Saturday we did all our shopping. We go food shopping and then buy, we go to like a bunch of different stores because we don't buy everything at one store. Like we buy some things at a discount grocery store, some things at Walmart, some things at Dollar Tree. So we, we go to a bunch of stores so it takes quite a while. Um, let's see, I'm going to use this Royal and Langnickel complexion brush. These are so nice, you guys, and they're from Walmart, so they're very reasonably priced, but it's fantastic quality brush. Um, so I did all those things Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and, um, it was Sunday that I was like really in bad, bad shape. So the what, what I do when that happens, because it happens every once in a while. It hasn't happened in a long time though. But when that happens, I do absolutely nothing. I basically have to get in bed, lay flat on my back, and watch TV. <laughs> That's about all I can do. And um, it helps. It it like heals my back by just trying to be as immobile as possible. And um, so that's what I did. Sunday, Monday, and I think part of Tuesday. And then my back started to feel better, but I still didn't f trust it. Like I still didn't feel like it was, you know, that great. And started to feel better <clears throat> on Wednesday. And then yesterday, um, I went out with my mom and spent some time with her. And then I was like, all right, I definitely got to do a video, video by Friday. So here I am. So besides all the things I told you about, I'm supposed to be on a no buy, right? And the parameters that I gave for myself was that I didn't know how long the no buy was going to last. And I was only going to buy things that I felt like I needed. And I'm going to give you an example of that now. I like to have at all times a white and a black cream eyeshadows in some form because um, they're just really good things to have because certain eyeshadows look really good over a white or a black cream eyeshadow. What I use the white one for primarily is really light colored eyeshadows. It makes them pop. And black, I like to use like duochrome eyeshadows over a black base. So I had bought the Maybelline Color Tattoo in, um, I can't think of the name of the shade, it's the black one anyway. I bought that recently, so I was all set on that. But I didn't have a white one because um, I had purged the white one that I had, I don't know, a couple of months ago. And so I repurchased the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This is really creamy and reasonably priced and I really like to have this at all times. And the reason why I wanted this or wanted to repurchase it other than what I just said was I also bought this. This was not necessary. This was an impulse buy. I was at Dollar Tree and um, they had an end cap of Color Workshop products. And I've never tried that brand, but I know they're made by Marquins, which is the company that owns Wet n Wild. So I was like, oh my God, I'm just going to buy one. I have to try this. 
I'm so glad I was on a no buy, you guys, so I only bought one because this was pretty awful. Um, it doesn't have a color name or anything, but the one I got is, uh, it's like a peachy pink. And it has like no pigmentation and it's really powdery and pretty awful. I used it with a traditional eyeshadow primer and then I also used it with that NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, which is pretty much why I bought it and I can't get this darn thing open. I wanted to, I just wanted to swatch it for you. So it, it swatches okay, but it doesn't apply nice at all. Because when you blend it out, it just looks like chalky nothingness. Um, so if you see that display, I would not recommend that you pick anything up from it because I have a feeling that that brand just is not good. But if you've had good experiences with it, let me know. Maybe it was just the one that I picked out, but... I picked this out because I thought it would be a very practical color to get um, because especially the time of year it is, I mean look at my shirt, you know, it matches my shirt perfectly, the, the trim part of my shirt here. So I thought that would be a practical color but it was pretty awful so I'm glad I just got that. So I wanted to come clean and show you the two things that I bought recently because I'm supposed to be on a no buy. Okay, I'm going to put this on my dark circles. This is the LA Colors Smoothing Face Primer Color Correcting Peach. Neutralizes dark spots. This is supposed to be a face primer, but everybody that I see uses this as a, a um, under eye corrector. This is the Sephora Concealer Pro Brush. I like that this is a squeezy tube. I like that type of applicator. Okay, so there's what that circle looks like right now. I just want to point that out because this does make a difference. And believe it or not, when I put concealer over this, I don't think it looks as good as when I just use this alone. And there it is with the corrector and blend it in. Now this is my bad side. Nothing that I put on that side will ever make that go away completely. But this will not look as bad. So I stopped using that soap that I had showed you and talked about for cleaning my brushes. I was definitely getting some kind of dermatitis situation from that so I'm not using that anymore but even so my skin has been so sensitive lately um, I stopped using traditional eye makeup remover I had the generic version like of the Neutrogena eye makeup remover I stopped using that switched to micellar water was still getting irritation like on my eyelids in just the eye area in general um, and switched to coconut oil. And I still feel like the skin in my eye area is really sensitive lately. And I've been trying to figure out what it could be that is causing that. Keep moving, Debbie, keep moving. <laughs> um, gonna set everything with Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. And I'm not really sure because I use different eyeshadows all the time so it can't like be a particular eyeshadow that's causing it because I'm always using different ones. This is the e.l.f. powder brush from their studio line. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with my, my eyes lately. So the other thing I was going to tell you guys about is um, I bought something that has nothing to do with makeup, but I am loving it so much that I got to tell you guys about it. And a lot of you probably already have this. 
If you don't have cable TV and you stream things using a device to your um, TV, I have always used Chromecast and um, we've had actually two of those for years and works great, never had any problems with it. But all of a sudden, the one that I have on this TV right here, um, when I would try to stream from YouTube, it wasn't working. And it, I don't know, because I could watch Netflix with no problem, but when I tried to stream YouTube, I couldn't get it to connect. It kept saying error and everything. So I'm not sure if the problem was the device that I was streaming from, which was my iPod, or if it was the Chromecast device itself, or if it was a YouTube glitch, I don't know. But it was aggravating the heck out of me. So I bought a Roku. And I got it on sale at Target for $32. And I think they normally go for like, I don't know, $45, $50. I'm, I'm not really sure. But all I know is I thought $32 was a pretty good price. Uh, let's see. Jordana Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick in Medium. So I bought, uh, the, the one that I got is, um, let's see, I think it's called Roku Express. It's just, you can't really see it because it's all blurry, but right there is just this little tiny box, like that big, and then there's a remote control. And I love it. It it's not the same type of thing that I had with the Chromecast because the Chromecast one that I had was the older version because I've had it for years. It's lasted all that time. So I didn't have the newer type of Chromecast device, which is like the um, circular one. I didn't have that. I had like the stick kind that just plugs into the... Um, USB in your TV. So I don't know anything about the newer types of Chromecast, so I can't compare it to this Roku that I just got. But it it's really, I, I love it because like it doesn't uh, clog things up or drag down the device because you're only adding the channels that, not, not channels, the apps that you're interested in. So you're streaming the apps right from the TV screen. I love that I don't have to cast anything. It's all built into the device because I couldn't use my Chromecast unless I used a mobile device with it. That's just how it worked Well, with the style that I had. Okay, next I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush in blushing. This blush is still available. Uh, this is just the old packaging. It's round now, but it's a very practical wearable color. I don't know if this is the same formula as the new round one, but I really like this. And I'm gonna use a Real Techniques contour brush um, because I, I like this brush head shape for a blush. So anyways, I've been love, love, loving this Roku that I bought and I'm using all these apps that I've never used before and like some of them are like cable channel apps but you can just watch certain things because um, it would be like going to the website version of it so a lot of things are locked I can't watch them but they'll let you watch like a couple of things just to try to entice you to, I guess, get the actual channel and get cable TV and everything. But um, there's a lot of apps, like Roku has their own channel. Um, okay, highlight, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter in the shade Holographic. Yeah, uh, Roku has their own channel that has all kinds of cool stuff on it. Um, okay, I was going to apply this directly because I wasn't really paying attention, focusing on what I'm doing. 
don't do that because this is super, super concentrated. So you want to just, just dab the smallest amount on your finger and then tap it like where you want it and then blend it out. I mean, look how much, how concentrated and thick that is. It's like no matter how much you use, it's still too much. A little bit of this goes a long way. You'll have to throw that bottle away long before you'll use it up. You'll never go through a whole bottle before it goes bad. So anyways, yeah, I've been really, really loving this Roku that I got. Oh my God, it is so much fun. And I'm like watching using all the free apps there's a whole bunch of free apps that you can use and um i mean i just wanted to be able to stream like netflix and um youtube and hbo oh by the way cancel my hbo and i had been watching big little lies but i don't like season two as much as i liked season one season one was excellent but yeah, season two, I just wasn't enjoying it. So I started looking at the other things that were on there, and I was like, you know what? For 15 bucks a month, I don't think this is worth it. Because with Netflix, Netflix is, what, 13 I think, now a month? And there's so much more content. I mean, my God, you, you could never get bored watching Netflix. So, yeah, I canceled HBO, and uh, now I just have Netflix. And I'm kind of interested in what's going to happen with future streaming services because everybody is coming out with new streaming services. So Netflix is going to have some competition. And, um, you know, because we've already got, um, well, when I say we've already got, I mean the streaming services that already exist, the most popular ones I would say would be Netflix. HBO streaming service for people who don't have cable. Um, I think it's called HBO Now or is it HBO Go? I always get those two mixed up. And then, of course, Hulu. But there's a whole bunch more coming out. There are other ones still that exist. Um, CBS All Access. Um, there's just so many of them and a whole bunch more on the way. So that playing field is going to get very crowded very soon because I know of at least two more streaming services that are going to be here before the end of the year. Disney and um, Warner is coming out with one. So the bad thing about this, aside from the obvious things, is that Netflix is going to be losing a lot of their content because as these other companies develop their own streaming services they're pulling all their content off of Netflix but Netflix original content is so good that I feel like they can compete and stand on their own so we shall see okay physicians formula butter bronzer and this is the light one and I just go back to the brush that I used for my powder, the Rimmel powder. So I'm just going to dust some of this on the perimeter of my face just a little bit. Okay, um, eyeshadow primer, right? I want to make sure I'm not skipping over any steps. I've been Using that e.l.f. sheer eyeshadow primer that I picked up recently. This is two bucks at Target or wherever e.l.f. is sold. And I hadn't used this in a long time. And this is so good, you guys. I can't believe this is only $2. Ooh, I wonder... Nah, I was going to say I wonder if this is what's causing the eye irritation. But I don't think so. Because I know the Milani one was bothering me. But no, like, I can tell when an eyeshadow primer is irritating my eyes. And with the Milani one, you could feel like, I could feel a tingling sensation right away. But with this, I feel nothing. So I don't think this is what's doing it. 
The reason why I like this, by the way, is I like the way eyeshadows apply and blend over it. That's my number one reason for liking it. Okay, next, um, I'm going to edit this part out only because I already have a whole tutorial video using this. So if you want to see that, you can watch that video. This is the iHeart Revolution eyeshadow palette in raspberry icing. That's what that looks like. So yeah, I'm not going to do the same, you know, show you the exact same thing that I've already shown in a separate video. So be back in a second through the magic of editing. So I was using the eyeshadow palette and I looked at the timer for the video and went, oh wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to quickly tell you the rest of the products I used because I felt like the video was getting too long. So I used that eyeshadow palette that I just told you about and I used the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner in Navy. And on my bottom lashes, I used Believe Beauty High Definition Skinny Mascara. This is one of those mascaras that's got the really small wand. So I used that on my bottom lashes. And then I curled my lashes. And on my top lashes, I used Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. This is the one with the green and black tube. And I did my brows with Makeup Obsession Brow Pom Pomade in Taupe. And on my lips is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick in Send Nudes. And I believe that is it. So thank you so much for watching. And provided nothing else bad happens, I should be back on Monday. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Bye.